souls, life eternal, life of trust in existence. You asked, what is life eternal? I will not tell something that you cannot understand. Sri Aurobindo wrote Life Divine, a classic which is of over thousand pages and beyond the understanding of most of the people. And to hide their ignorance, you can hear them saying, Life Divine is a great work everyone should read. Life Divine is Sri Aurobindo's way of saying Life Eternal. Both Life Eternal and Life Divine are same different expressions. In simple words, life eternal is life of trust in existence. In simple words, life eternal is life of trust in the existence. Trust sows the seed of harmony. Harmony blossoms into bliss, anand. This is the essence of life eternal or life divine. There is a beautiful example of a Japanese mystic woman. Her name was Ishon. People used to complain why she does not say that she will not have meals today. Only when the special food is prepared and brought in front of her, only then looking towards the sky with closed eyes, she will instruct to remove the platter. Her reply was strange. She cannot ask for the permission from God until the food is brought in front of her. Only when the food is in front of her, she can ask God what to do. Should I eat or not? Sometimes the reply comes in yes, while other times in no. Ishan was a Japanese female mystic. She lived a dedicated life of trust, harmony and oneness. She was an embodiment of trust and dedication. She was unique in whatever she will do on a day-to-day -day basis. When food is served to her, she will close her eyes and look towards the sky before eating. Sometimes it happened after looking towards the sky with closed eyes in prayer, she will open her eyes and instruct the food to be taken away. She will not have the meals today. This was difficult for people to understand. No one could understand her strange ways. People used to complain why she does not say that she will not have meals today. Only when the special food is prepared and brought in front of her, then looking towards the sky, with closed eyes, she will instruct to remove the platter. Her reply was strange. She cannot ask for permission from God until the food is brought in front of her. Only when food is in front of her, she can ask God what to do. Should I eat or not? Sometimes the reply comes in yes, while other times no. Sometimes she will take the meals, while other times she will send back the food without consuming. But people around her always doubted if the answer really comes from ever, or she simply replies just out of her own mind. They always felt whenever she wanted to eat, she will eat without any excuse, while other times she will say that today no reply came from God. They brought, they thought this is strange and would not understand. Ishan lived up to the age of 60 years. However, she never said that she had kept fast the day when she did not have the meals. The day Ishan did not have the meals, it was not fast according to her. Remember, all thoughts of keeping fast emerges out of ego sense. Generally, all so-called religious people 
keep records of the past. For 60 years, whenever anybody would ask how many fasts she has kept, her response was that she never kept any fast. Her only response was, some days God gave her the bliss of a meal while other times not. Then one day she com completed her 60 days. <coughs> one day she placed the platter of food under the sky and looking towards the sky, she said, today the message is not for food alone. Instead, the message is that today is her last day as well. Ishan continued today by sunset. She will buy. She will be no more. And exactly so, by sunset, Ishan was no more. The sunset, she sat with her eyes closed and she was no more. She dissolved in the vastness of the existence. Only the people realize that the message that she used to say was coming from God was true. But now it was too late. None trusted her while she was alive. And now what is the use of repenting? They thought whatever she said about not having meals may be false. But certainly what she said about her death happened. Ishan's life was life of total dedication. It was austerity. Her life was an indication of living totally by divine will, an expression of life eternal or life divine. Her individual will was merged with the divine will Whatsoever happens is totally accepted. Happiness, sorrow or whatever state he wants to keep is acceptable. Her entire life was austerity. This, is, this was Gyan Yoga. It has nothing to do with ego. This is an expression of life eternal or what is meant by life divine. Enough for now.